We take you live to Montreal now, where the owner and president of the Montreal Canadiens is speaking. Millions of partisans who had the pleasure to see him in the National Guy is a monument of sport in Quebec. Guy is a monument of sport in Quebec and a player who is admired by hockey lovers throughout North America. He had generations of hockey lovers vibrate through generations. And a player admired by hockey fans across North America. Guy Lafleur has thrilled um, generations of Canadians fans all over the world. La famille tient à remercier le public the family pour ses wants to thank the public for its messages wishes and, sympathies. and asks that we respect his privacy during this period. We'll take questions now. I'm wondering if, if that was the same for you and, and what it was about the person that um, that exuded that sort of a, a different feel, I guess. Yeah, so I, w I was lucky. Um, I got to see him um, from the very beginning. Um, I was born in 1970 and uh, and I got to live uh, live to watch. I, I was able to watch him as a, as a young kid. Um, and in those days, you look up at this big hockey player uh, in admiration, and uh, you can't believe how um, privileged you are to be able to, to, to speak to uh, the best hockey player in the world at that time. Um, and our family has lived uh, through, uh, three generations of our family have, have uh, been with Guy, and so we really do, uh, we really have spent uh, many years with him. Um, I got to know him best um, after uh, I became uh, the owner of the Montreal Canadiens in 2009. Uh, I, I signed him. Uh, one of the first things I did was to sign him on a 10-year contract to represent us as an ambassador. Um, and that was really important because he's such an icon in this, uh, in this province um, across the country. Um, and that's when I really got to know Guy uh, after, uh, after 2009 because we spent so much time together um, at events or um, just talking. Um, and I could tell plenty of stories about that. But, uh, um, he's a wonderful person. He has an amazing sense of humor, um, and he's dedicated to everything he does all the time. Jean-François. When you think of uh, Guy Lafleur, do you have a specific memory in mind as a young Molson? Did you play with him, maybe? What comes to you? Um, I was young. Um, for me, my greatest memory is, is hearing the crowd when he touched the puck, when he started skating in a straight line, the right, right winger. The crowd knew something was going to happen. It was electrifying. He was a flamboyant character on the ice. And I learned later that he's also the same off the ice. But as a young child, my best memories are the crowd that would yell for him when he touched the puck. My sympathies. Martin Saint Louis mentioned this morning the importance uh, that he was a player beyond his uh, statistics and records. What is his legacy in your mind? How would you describe it? The legacy on the players and and the public in general. I thought a lot about this today, and there's a lot. But if I had to choose one, I would say he was a man who was always there for everyone. When someone approached him for an autograph, to talk to him, can't tell him a story. It could have been anyone. Oh, I've seen it hundreds of times. He took the time for the people. He listened, and he didn't leave until he was done with that person. Have you 
had a chance to think about some of the ways, I know you said you guys will announce things as, as time passes along here, but have you thought about some of the ways you'd like to honor Mr. LaFleur's legacy? Yes. Um, we obviously, um, when, uh, uh, when you know there's a possibility that this day is, is going to come, um, it's such an important, he's such an important person in this, uh, in this province and country that you have to start thinking about, uh, about that um, early. And uh, uh, today we're not, uh, we're not prepared or ready to, to share everything. Um, but uh, um, in the Montreal Canadiens way, uh, I can assure everyone that it's going to be a great celebration of a great person. John? We all know what Mr. Beliveau represented to the organization as kind of a conscience to the Montreal Canadiens. What are the qualities and the accomplishments of Guy Lafleur that you want to be the enduring image and influence on this franchise for current players and subsequent generations who've never had the, uh, the opportunity to, to watch Guy play? Yeah, I mean, at, at, the, at the end of the day, he's a winner. Um, and he won in every every part of his life. Um, but on the ice, um, he's somebody who um, was completely dedicated to being the best he possibly can be every single day. Um, and if our players, our current players, um, think that way, um, I think we're in for a nice, uh, a nice ride with our players. Um, he's somebody who um, um, always got to the rink early, was always prepared. Um, but and and that tra that actually was the case even when he was an ambassador for us and um, we joke about it but um, often um, we'd have a, a time that we'd ask him to be at the Bell Center to to meet to uh, to do something uh, with in the community um, and he would he would arrive an hour and a half uh, early for that as well and uh, we didn't know what to do with him um, <laughs> he uh, he would uh, he would arrive and sit in either my office or uh, Genevieve's office and, uh, and just wait for an hour and a half until we were ready for him. It was, uh, <laughs> it was very special. So um, he's, he was dedicated. He did things the right way all the time. Um, and I think that, that those messages can, uh, can be relayed to our uh, current players. Yeah.